the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, Politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who renew the world through the mysteries beyond all telling, grant, we pray, that your church may be guided by your eternal design and not be deprived of your help in this present age. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Lo, I am about to create new heavens and a new earth. The things of the past shall not be remembered or come to mind. Instead, there shall always be rejoicing and happiness in what I create. For I create Jerusalem to be a big joy, 
and its people to be a delight. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and exult in my people. No longer shall the sound of weeping be heard there or the sound of crying. No longer shall there be in it an infant who leaves but a few days or an old man who does not round out his full lifetime. He dies a mere youth who reaches but a hundred years, and he who fails of a hundred shall be thought accursed. They shall live in the houses they build and eat the fruit of the vineyards they plant. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will extol you, O Lord, for you drew my, me clear and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up from the netherworld. You preserved me from among those going down into the pit. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Sing praise to the Lord, you, his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger lasts but a moment, a lifetime, his goodwill. At nightfall, weeping enters in, but with the dawn, rejoicing. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Hear, O Lord, and have pity on me. O Lord, be my helper. You change my mourning into dancing. O Lord, my God, forever will I give you thanks. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Please all stand. Matuwid ang dapat gawin Masamay ni masa natin Matayo ay kumayin Ang Diyos ay sasahanin Atin siyang The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus left Samaria for Galilee. For Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his native place. When he came into Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him. Since they had seen all he had done in Jerusalem at the feast for themselves had gone to the feast. Then he returned to Cana in Galilee where he had made the water wine. Now, there was a royal official whose son was ill in Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went to him and asked him to come down and heal his son, who was near death. Jesus said to him, Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The royal official said to him, Sir, come down before my child dies. Jesus said to him, You may go, your son will live. The man believed what Jesus said to him and left. While the man was on his way back, his slaves met him and told him that his boy would live. He asked them when he began to recover. They told him the fever left him yesterday 
about one in the afternoon. The father realized that just at that time, Jesus had said to him, Your son will live. And he and his whole household came to believe. Now, this was the second sign Jesus did when he came to Galilee from Judea. My sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning to all of you. Let us first thank the Lord for gathering us this beautiful Monday morning of fourth week of Lent. Upon reflecting on our readings today, particularly the Gospel, I was reminded by a story that is told about a young boy who was trapped at the roof of their burning house. The smoke was so thick that he cannot see anything around him. The boy was crying, calling his father for help. Suddenly, he heard his father's voice asking him to jump. But the boy replied, No, Dad, I cannot see you. The father said, My son, jump. I can see you. Jump and I will catch you. Dad, I am afraid, said the poor boy. Don't be afraid, my son. Trust me and you will be fine. Upon hearing the voice of his father, finally, the son jumped, landed in his father's arms, and was saved. My dear brothers and sisters, in today's gospel, Jesus teaches us the importance of faith, especially when we pray. A royal official was in need of Jesus for his son was seriously ill. He begged Jesus to come with him to cure his son. Jesus told him that his son will live and asked him to go his way. We cannot help but be amazed at the faith of this royal official. He went his way believing and having faith on Jesus' words. My dear brothers and sisters, we all know that God is the source of all goodness. In Him, we find life and salvation. But we need to relate with Him in faith for us to be able to experience His goodness 
and power. Like the poor boy in the story and the royal official in the gospel today, may we learn to trust in Jesus, not only in times of joys and comfort, but even more in times of crisis and difficulties. May we all say all the time, Jesus, I trust in you. Please all stand. Confident that when we pray with faith to God the Father, He will respond to our request with open-hearted generosity. We now present before Him our needs. Father, heal us through Jesus. Father, heal us through Jesus, that the church throughout the world may be a symbol of Christ's healing work by her care for those who are sick in mind, body, and spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father heal, heal us through Jesus, Jesus, that doctors, nurses, and those who care for the sick may show the compassion and gentleness of Jesus in caring for the least of his brethren. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father heal, heal us through Jesus, that this season of Lent may be a time of healing and reconciliations for families and communities of people. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father heal us through Jesus. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, heal us through Jesus, that our beloved dead may enjoy forever the reward of their faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, heal us through Jesus. Heavenly Father, help us to go on trusting you and to have faith in the healing power of your Son who binds up all our wounds. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Bless the day, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed day, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart. Please all stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May we receive, O Lord, we pray, the effects of this offering dedicated to you, so that we may be cleansed from all earthly ways and be renewed by growth in heavenly life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and every word to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep into the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you, throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you 
through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb, of, Lamb God. of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Friends, this is Jesus, our Savior, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please all stand. Let us pray. May your holy gifts, O Lord, we pray, give us life by making us new and by sanctifying us, lead us to things eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Renew your people within and without, O Lord. And since it is your will that they be unhindered by bodily delights, give them, we pray, perseverance in their spiritual intent through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. So